Hello everyone, I'm Lisa with Living Life with Lisa and on this channel we talk about living life to the fullest with a chronic illness and I personally have oh this and that and the other but uh, I oh I forgot my card uh, I uh, mostly talk about um, my early onset dementia um, <clears throat> excuse me I tell you what today is Monday and I got a call from the doctor's office okay back in the to when I last time I went to the doctor I told you all about it um, and um, I went to the doctor's office and had all those issues and he said that who wanted me to come back or get all this blood work done and then I would come back after the uh, three month blood work done. and so then he said no I want to see you after every blood work and the office staff knows that I have pro issues and so they've gone from me just going in and having lab work they schedule it because if they schedule it then i'll actually go do it um otherwise i forget and so i got a call a reminder call last thursday friday thursday that i had an appointment today at 11 which is monday so friday i hightailed it in there and <laughs> got the lab work done and for my appointment today so I got there today and they had no appointment for me to actually go see uh, Jason they just it was for lab work and so I think what happened when I told them I need to make appointments because he wanted to see me after each lab work um, they misunderstood me and thought I meant I wanted them to schedule the lab work but he wanted me to schedule appointments so I should have had four appointments I guess theoretically but anyway, so um, I got showered and dressed and all that stuff to come over here. <laughs> um, I uh, am going to come back at, I don't have an appointment. I'll come back at 1.45 and I pick groceries up at 2, between 2 and 3. So um, that'll work out pretty good. I'm going to go into the record store. But I don't think I'm going to do it right now. I just don't want to. So I'm going to go home and uh, rest. We've got to get this thyroid figured out because I am packing on the pounds like crazy. And um, I've been more active than I've been in a long time. Uh, I weighed less. I weighed less when I was uh, bedridden in our chair ridden <laughs> than I do now so I'm not looking forward to getting weighed but I know it's because the thyroid is it's supposed to be between 0 0.4 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 or something like that and it's 14 no yeah it's 14.7 or something like that so it's way way off um, and so he only upped it upped it uh, 0.25 for the last six weeks so I know we got a long way to go I'm gonna end up back to where I started I'm sure shouldn't have probably been taken off it was better when it was overactive my uh, neurologist likes it better when it's overactive than he does when it's underactive I guess it helps with the symptoms because uh, low thyroid symptoms can mimic <laughs> dementia symptoms and it just makes the dementia a little bit worse or present worse uh, it doesn't when my thyroid gets straightened out um, hopefully um, some of this will go back to, to normal uh, I'm hoping the we had a nice Christmas and uh, thanks for those <laughs> some cards and gifts I am going to actually show you the cards and gifts um, I don't know if it will be today or not. Um, I keep, um, when I get home, it's just the last video, I was under my light and 
I can do that kind of stuff there then, but uh, lately it's just by the time I have time to do that, it's late in the night and I am beat. So I will get that done because I do appreciate all the cards and letters and and the and the gifts. Well, I'm going to go over here because they're going to take over here. So. Um, I will get that done because um, I really do appreciate it and more than you know it it's exciting and it makes me feel warm and cozy um, you know when you're raising teenage boys there's not a lot of warm and coziness coming across a lot of times um, those warm fluffies uh, warm fuzzies uh, aren't as often when they're teenagers as they were when they're little uh, so um, that's what, uh, so that I really do appreciate it. My dad's doing much better for those of you that are, uh, following along. Um, he, they told him his numbers were do getting higher and getting better. And that this week, if his numbers continued to stay up, or even when he high, went higher, he could take his mask off. And it's just a mask he's supposed to wear anytime he goes out in public. And he doesn't leave his house because he's embarrassed to wear the mask. So he just goes to the doctor's office and uh, chemo with his mask. So if he loses his mask, then he'll uh, be able to get out and about and go places and kind of get out of the house. So he's pretty excited about that. And... If his numbers are going up, that's a good sign that they're they're beating the, beating it. So uh, that's great. And his other problem uh, that was really bothering him, um, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, because it's kind of a one of those embarrassing things. Um, they he went to the surgeon for for that particular problem. And um, they didn't want to do surgery or do anything because of his being in chemo. But they did something. I don't know if they lanced or what they did. But um, gave him some medicine and um, instructions. And he's feeling much better. Um, so he gets around now and he can, he can stand and he can sit and do all those things he did before and uh, he's feeling pretty good that way um, the chemo and the rest of the stuff doesn't really bother him um, he was supposed to go back or he went back to see the cancer doctor for the bladder cancer and he wants him to come back in six months because um, he didn't want to do anything with him uh, while he's in chemo so He's, but he's feeling pretty good. He's uh, good spirits. Got him a portal, Facebook portal for Christmas. And um, last week, it was funny because last week he was doing chemo. And he called me on the phone and wanted me to explain this, the portal to him again. And we had gone down and, and we had practiced. I left two kids up here and... Aiden and I went down and we practiced calling each other and uh, doing it and turning the thing up, turning it down, turning it off, hot, you know, getting, seeing other things. I mean, we just practiced and practiced. We spent a couple hours doing it. And then, you know, we uh, called him on it to do... Um, his birthday, which is Christmas Eve, and did that earlier in the day, and then that night, the boys opened my presents, so um, we called him for that, and uh, then on Christmas morning, I called him on the phone to wake him up, and then um, he got out there, and uh, we got him on the portal, and then he, we all opened presents together, and then, you know, we've talked, I've called several times since then, and well, the week of the chemo, he called.
old man wouldn't know how to do it because um, he'd only done, I'd only shown him one time how to do it and he can't learn it in one time because it's too far advanced for him <laughs> and uh, he was saying other things too that didn't make any sense and so I kind of knew it was chemo brain and he just wasn't understanding so I was explaining it to him again on how you do it and how he would call and how he you know how he answers and he can remember how he answers though he answered it when I called him on it and he didn't know um, how to make the call on it and or do any of the stuff on it and so I talked him through it and so then I had to hang up because I had a little bit of a stomach problem going that night and so anyway I just knew he had chemo brain and nothing was making sense and uh, so then he called me uh, <laughs> like Friday and or Thursday or something and we were talking and he was all, all chipper and happy and um, fit and raring to go um, and he was talking to me and we had a long conversation and then um, hung up and then he called yesterday no the, on that one on the first call um, I said, um, did you, um, no, he, he called yesterday and he said, I, I owe you some money. And I said, yes, you do. <laughs> Cause, um, I bought all the Christmas presents from him to us and, uh, he reimburses me and I thought he forgot about it. So I wasn't going to say anything. I was just going to let it go. And, um, he said, I owe you some money. And I said, yes, you do. And so he was trying, trying to tell me how much, um, I was telling him how much he owed me. And he said, okay, well, I was wondering, I said, did you ever in your life think that this would ever have technology where you could look at each other and talk and he said, no, I didn't. I was telling somebody the other day, he said, I learned teletype and, you know, and that was such a big deal then. And that was a direct line. He said, people now won't even know what the teletype is. And he said, you know, I, it was always science fiction and, you know, people would dream of being able to see people when they talk. But he said, I never thought I'd live to see it. And I saw, I, I know, I always thought it was something way in the future. It was pretty cool. So now he's liking it and he's got his head on and he knows how to use it. So um, stress level has gone way down in his house and his head. So um, well, things are, but things are doing well. Um, I probably gonna make this one a little bit longer uh, only because I. I'm going to talk some more later. I don't know. Um, you know, I, I got to go back to the doctor later and I've got to go to pick up groceries. And that was, that's always kind of fun, actually. I'll, I like the picking up of the groceries. And so, um, I'll talk to you then. I. I don't know. I'm embarrassed to even say, tell you some things, but I mean, that's the whole purpose of this channel is to be open and honest about it, see my point of view or from my side. But I, the last one talked about showers. And I took a shower today. That last video, um, I had gone and got my hair cut. I got a haircut and she styled it, washed it and styled it. And um, before that, it had been a week uh, since I'd gotten in the shower. So 
if you caught that, and I'll just say it, um, I did not shower the day that I made that video. I went to the hairdresser, she washed my hair. My hair was clean, but not my body. And so, um, I've gone about two weeks, and nobody says anything. I know I smell, I know, I know for a fact I did, but you know, you got teenage boys, and I guess when people come in the house, they just assume it's boys. I don't know, <laughs> but, but you know, and the boys never say anything. I don't, but I showered and today, and what I did is I have the removable shower head that, you know, you can use, them. and it has a shower adjustments on it, and I turned it on to the one that's like a light rain, soft rain and that was very pleasant i didn't have any pain with that one and so i'm gonna keep it on that one because um, it felt good and it felt nice and i was able to get in there and get cleaned up and um i don't dread the next one um uh, i was seriously just dreading i didn't want to you know i, I was I was literally afraid to go in the shower or go in the tub because I just knew it was going to hurt and I just didn't want to do it. And, um, you know, and I was would find myself coming up with excuses all the time as to why, you know, not today. And I knew I couldn't go into that doctor's office without showering for two weeks. So I forced myself to get there and I changed that setting and it made all the difference. I have got to show you how pretty this is. So, um, I'm going to, well, I'll tell you what, I will pull in and then I will take you and show you what is going on. We had, um, or we had a little bit of snow, not much, but the trees are gorgeous. Um, let me just stop here and show you. And I have a wind turbine that, excuse me, that used to work, but it's not going to, it's, something's wrong with it. But right now it is actually frozen in place. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. I may have to stop it and then start it up again. So let me see if that. I can squeeze in any. Okay, right there's my wind turbine that's frozen. And if you can see those trees that they're all frozen. The back of that. Isn't that pretty? I'll show you back here. I just think I just think that's beautiful. I know a lot of people don't. Um, this is a present that one of my subscribers gave, sent me, or gave me. You know who you are, Miss Cheryl. And um, so anyway, I am going to turn you off and turn you back to me. There she is. That's my girl. But the boys want me to give a boy's name, but I can't give a boy's name. Every, all my cars are Betsy, but I, she's not a Betsy. She's like more like a, I don't know, somebody think up a name for that car. Well, I just finished with the doctor, and, uh, hang on. Um, my thyroid is now seven point something and so that's better than 14 got it in half so he upped it just a little bit and he's gonna order an ultrasound of my thyroid and then um, he's gonna my kidneys aren't doing much better they're doing just a hair better he didn't give me the paper this time um, he the I wonder if he's supposed to he gave it to me last time um the uh kidney the kidney um 
stuff was 41 last time and now it's 45 so that's a little better and so he's ordering an ultrasound of that too with the thought that um, he will probably send me up to a kidney specialist uh, to deal with it and then I do blood work again in six weeks for everything um, uh, we don't know when the ultrasounds will be they've got to get that okayed with my insurance and then they'll call me to set up the appointment to go do that and so uh, I don't know he just kept saying at your age you should not be having kidney problems and they can't figure and he can't figure out why and the only thing he can figure is either it's the thyroid but since the thyroid and jumped up and the kidney didn't that it's a possibility that you know maybe something's just an artery's clogged or something that's causing a problem and so um, we'll see and there's really they could he we went over everything that I do and there really wasn't anything that I'm taking or eating or drinking that is causing the problem excuse me um, and so, um, I, you know, I drink water all the time. Just got to chew on the eyes because of the anemia. Hopefully that'll be getting better soon. And, um, but I told him, I said, I am gaining weight. It's getting out of hand. And he just laughed and said, he said, once we get the thyroid, he said, don't even sweat it till we get the thyroid straightened out. He said, because right now that's what's causing the weight gain. And I said, okay. Uh, so I forgot to tell him. I was going to tell him. Uh, well, he wants to get it right smack dab in the middle of between 1 and 4 to 2.5. But um, my neurologist likes it closer to 1. So, it's not going to hurt for it to be a little high. I need to tell him, but right now, uh, I don't know why he needs a, a, oh, I don't want to go this way. Um, too late now. Um, I need an ultrasound of my thyroid. Because, um, we killed it off with a, with radiation, it took two years for it to finally die. It was a, it, it was, it, it was a, it was a fighter. Um, so I don't know. I really don't know what to think. To tell you the truth, um, you know, it's just I don't know. Something's got to be going on that everything is is haywire because why you know every you know it's early, early onset you know dementia which, and you know I was diagnosed with it at what, 52 53 something like that I don't even know anymore um, you know and now kidding I'm not even I'm you know I'm 54, I think. Um, I used to think, how can my parents not know how old they are? And now I know, because it's like, it's not like, I'm seven and a half, I'm seven and three quarters. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I don't think about it every day. Uh, people come up, how old are you? Um, so, but he kept saying, 53 in there, but I know I'm not 53. I don't think. Um, but he kept saying, person 53 shouldn't be having these problems. 53 shouldn't be having these problems. And I, I really don't think I'm 53, but I'm at most I'm 54. But anyway, I'll take either one. It doesn't matter. But 
you know, I don't, I don't know, but let's get to a specialist and find out. And so apparently there's uh, two in Plymouth, so that's good. We'll have to go out of town to get it taken care of. But, oh, picking up my groceries. And hopefully picking up medicine. I'm going to have to let you go long enough to call them and tell them I'm here to bring my food. I hope they have my Mexican Coke. The last two times I've been here, they haven't had any because it's been too popular. So, I'm going to let you go and I'll be right back. Well, hopefully this one won't be upside down. I got it flipped and flopped over. But, we'll see. Uh, got my groceries. They had everything except my Easy Pill um, Mandarin. So they got, gave me Clementines, which is basically the same thing. Um, started getting those when the boys were little because they could fill them easier. And now they really like them because they're really sweet, like candy. And they're or oranges. Uh, the only one I doesn't like him is, of course, Randy, because <laughs> anything that might be good for you, he doesn't like. Uh, and I think tonight we're going to have ham hamburger helper, so I'll have one kid that doesn't. Not happy about it, but I've got some uh, frozen lasagna for him if he wants it. That, they can sell individual lasagnas at size. Uh, meals and you know, like pot pies on his lasagna and according to Aiden they're delicious and he's our food critic in the house he likes everything if he doesn't like it then it probably is a part of it eating um, and so uh, anyway um, I'm gonna go through here and see if uh, I got any medicine yet my thyroid medicine come through yet so I don't want to come back but it's my favorite girl. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Did Jason call in the thyroid medicine yet? Alrighty. They send it over. If you give us about 10 minutes or so and stop back, I can get it ready. Okay, thanks. Thank uh -huh. all right so anyway i'm heading home i uh don't know i had anything earth shattering today uh, it's been a busy day and nicole came over this morning got medicine um the only thing i don't have is thyroid and that's simply because got changed I ran out but I told her I said don't uh, I'm not gonna worry about it because I know he's gonna up it I wish he'd get go faster than a quarter of it at a time so anyway that's the latest on my my medical issues um, so I'm going to let you go and say Remember, live life to the fullest, live life with no regrets, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.